Aloha. My name is Hanohano Naehu. Aloha mai kako. I'm Mailena Ehu from Kumimi on the island of Molokai. This is my house. This is my aina. This is our ohana's home. And this past year and a half has been a planning process to make our very first Mahi Ai camp where we wanted to invite youth to participate in traditional practices here in Hawaii of food sustainability, whether it be planting kalo, working in the local ia or in the Hawaiian fish ponds and restoring them. And um, also to take it a step further. So when Pan reached out and said, hey, we want to partner with Huyo Kuapa, uh, the nonprofit org that I'm a program director for, uh, they said, what do you think we can do together? And I thought, well, we're really in line with each other when it comes to feeding each other and sustaining ourselves with traditional practices. Pesticide-free, all organic, with plenty of aloha put into it with our own hands. We held a Mahi Ai camp with Keiki and their parent from Maui, Oahu, and Kauai. And we brought them here to help us go mauka to makai and do things with each other to put our hands into the aina, to farm, to fix loko ia. It was amazing. The experience was so beautiful because we got to get these kids from these different islands, them all bringing huli, putting them in the ground, getting their hands on the pohaku in the ocean, at the fish pond, looking dia, looking aina, and sharing. And so we spent five days together where we completely immersed ourselves, became ohana. We ate together, we planted together, we restored loko ia together, we created art together. And one of my favorite parts of this camp was creating that art piece, which was based on an ancient proverb, which means that the goodness of the tarot is judged by its offspring, its little uh, offspring that it shoots off of the side of the kalo root. And it just reflects on the idea that a uh, makua or a parent is a reflection of their child and a child is a reflection of the parent. And so through this camp, through this process, we really truly saw that and it was very empowering for the whole ohana to participate together in planting all these beautiful kalo and restoring our local ia so that we can have food for future generations. <laughs> Difficult, but not impossible. Not impossible. Aloha, I'm Kapule Torio from the island of Kauai, and I've um, been blessed to be here, part of the Naehu Hanohano Ohana, and welcome us to their house and brought some hulis with us, some moi taro, and it's just here to um, give our mana from Kauai and, and sharing, bringing back their life of their land uh, in, these, in these lo'is of his home. and being able to be here and, and turning this soil over and providing our mana for planting of the kalo and that feeds his family in, this, in his aupua and it's just a, something that is coming back pretty strong. It's a reality, it's real, it's a lifestyle and I'm very glad to have been able to share I'm a little bit of where I'm from and the gifts that have been shared with me with um, the Naehu Ohana. Aloha. Aloha, I'm Lari Lani Ke Oho Kanole Torio from the island of Kauai. Uh, my favorite part about this entire last five to six days really was um, seeing the youth together and hearing stories about Molokai in particular and how our Kupuna and our Lahui kept these stories alive by just the richness of sharing, like place names, um, kai, vai, um, uka, and just bringing that all together and reminding me of the places that I grew up in and how important it is to continue the storytelling and to bring uh, Makua and our OPO together so that they can hear these stories. Whether they were like Auntie Maile shared um, on the places, like the physical places that we visited, or if it was in Mele or if it was in Rap, like all of that was storytelling and it was so important for my own son to see that because 
I feel like we don't have a lot of that in our own lives. We have a lot of hana and a lot of kuleana, but we don't always weave in these really important creative ways to continue the storytelling. We gotta be the best guides for the next generations. And this camp was such an awesome opportunity for us to share with these keiki and with these makua. We're not perfect. And all we had to show them was what we do as a lifestyle, how we live. And just like this kalo, we hope that what we planted with a little bit of care will turn out to be productive, fruitful examples of what happened when Aina and Keiki get put together and they be put forth into the world and into the future.